Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be learning about decimals, which personally was a huge struggle for me back in my elementary years. So first off, we're going to start with multiplication. So we are going to write 0.45 multiplied by 5 in a way where we could understand it more, or how we do basic multiplication. So we are going to answer this just like basic multiplication. So 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25, carry the number 2. 5 multiplied by 4 equals to 20, plus the 2 that you've carried equals to 22. Now we're going to count the numbers to the right of the decimal point, which is 1, 2 movements. So now we're going to add that to the end of the number, which gives us 2.25. So now we are going to move on to 0.60 multiplied by 0.5, which these two numbers are both decimals, which makes this more understandable. So 5 multiplied by 0 equals to 0, and 5 multiplied by 6 equals to 30. So we're going to count the numbers to the right side of the decimal, which is 3 movements altogether. So we're going to do that to the sum, and we get 0.300. Which you can write this in many ways, such as 0 0.300, 0 0.3, or 0 0.03. So all of these answers are basically correct, but there are two answers which teachers accept more, which is 0 0.3 and 0 0.03, because to look at it, they look more simplified than 0 0.300. So now let's move on to 108 multiplied by 0 0.48. 8 multiplied by 8 equals to 64, carry 6. 8 multiplied by 0 equals to 0, plus 6 equals 6. 8 multiplied by 1 equals to 8. 4 multiplied by 8 equals to 32. 4 multiplied by 0 equals to 0, plus 3 equals 3. 4 multiplied by 1 equals to 4. So we're going to be adding this, so bring down 4. 6 plus 2 equals to 8. 8 plus 3 equals to 11, carry 1. 1 plus 4 equals to 5. We're going to count the decimal from the decimal point, that's two movements, so our answer equals to 51.84. So now we're going to move on to 0 0.84 multiplied by 40, which 0 multiplied by 4 equals to 0, 0 multiplied by 8 equals to 0, 4 multiplied by 4 equals to 16, carry 1, 4 multiplied by 8 equals to 32, plus 1 equals to 33. We're going to sum that up together, and now we're going to count the decimal points to the right, which our answer to that equals to 33.60 or 33.6. So now we're going to learn how to change a decimal to a fraction. So now we're going to change 0.75 into a fraction. And remember, every number is over 1. So we're going to multiply both sides by 100. Why 100? Because if you multiply 0.75 by 10, you'll just get 7.5. And we can't work with that. So now we're just going to multiply 0 0.75 by 100, which makes 75, and 1 by 100, which is 100. Now we're going to find the greatest common factor, which is 25, and divide it by both 75 and 100. 75 divided by 25 equals to 3, and 100 divided by 25 equals to 4, and the answer is 3 fourths. Now let's move on to 0 0.25 over 1. Let's multiply both sides by 100, and that equals to 25 over 100. And we're going to divide both sides by 25, which gives us 1 fourth. Here we have 0.40 over 1, so let's multiply both sides by 100, which gives us 40 over 100. And their greatest common factor is 20, so divide 40 by 20 equals to 2, and 100 divided by 20 equals to 5, so there we have 2 fifths. Now let's move on to 0.76, so 0.76 over 1, let's multiply both sides by 100, so that gives us 76 over 100, and now we're going to find their greatest common factor, which is 4, and we're going to divide both sides by 4, which gives us 19 over 25. So these are the answers to all of the questions that are given, and if you have any more questions, feel free to message me on Instagram at Carrie Ann Gore, or message my mom on Facebook, which is Abby Gore. So I hope you've learned a lot in this video, and thanks for watching!